right, guys, second story for the day. Six, second, two out. I've lost the flow to speak properly. Two out of six. Let's jump into it. Kentucky convenience store post sign. No masks allowed. What? Stop listening to Bella share. He's a dumb something or rather. I can't say that word on YouTube anymore. A Kentucky convenience store told customers not to wear masks inside the store in an attempt to flout, flout Governor Andy Balasher, I'm my pronouncing mask guidance. A man on Facebook posted a photo of a pink sign outside Alabin's Manchester, Kentucky, telling customers no face masks allowed in store. Lower your masks or go somewhere else. Stop listening to Bella Share. He's a dumb something or other. The Lexington Herald leader resp uh, reported on the signs, uh, store sign Tuesday, noting also a Facebook user's decision to shame Alvin with a picture. The owner eventually clarified the meaning of the sign in Facebook post on Tuesday. We're not telling you not to wear a mask. We're te what we're saying is that your choice to wear one or not uh, our governor's choice is for you. Choose one or to wear one or not. Not our government's choice for us. Okay. With uh, While some have got the meaning behind it, uh, I, behind it, a lot did not, the post report. To be honest, I kind of got the meaning. The, the English in this is really bad, but anyway... I got the meaning. Um, he's basically saying, lower your face mask, stop being an idiot, stop believing everything the government's telling you. So, yeah. Uh, Belichia, a Democrat, asked the residents to wear masks while in public areas starting May 11th. Uh, he received scathing criticisms in April after announcing that he would state would recover the license plate of people who attended Easter services to enforce stay-at-home orders, which are designed to slow the spread of beer bug pandemic. The virus originated in Wuhan, China, and has reportedly killed more than 320,000 people worldwide. Mm, anyway. Um, more than 30, 330 people have died in Kentucky from the disease. Kentucky state troopers recorded the license plate numbers of those who attended services at Kentucky Maryville Baptist Church, warning the 50 churchgoers to spend 14 days in quarantine Quarantine or face more restrictions. I get really, really scared when the government's forcing people to stay indoors. But anyway. I actually, look, to be honest, I, I'm i sick of hearing about this beer bug. Look, I think governments are using it now just to, to go through and basically just A, ramp up fear and B, to cause people to... We got the government telling us to believe experts, but then when the experts come out and dismiss what the government says, the, the videos get taken down. They get censored off YouTube, Twitter, and everything like that. They even get censored off BitChute, mind you. Um, at the end of the day, it, it seems to be very much believe the experts unless we are uh, disagreed with, then you can ignore those experts. Um, it's very much people are trying to push an agenda, and, and I think, like I said originally, this beer bug, look, yes, people are going to die. Yes, it's unfortunate. But it's not as bad as what people are suspecting. And I think some people are starting to realise that because they've stopped coming around the Discord. Um, so look, at the end of the day, yeah, like I said originally, yes, people will originally die. The media is hyping this up. And lo and behold, what do you get? The media hyping this up. We, we have gone from flatten the curve to... Now everybody has to stay indoors until we find a cure. But hang on, weren't you supposed to be just flattening the curve? That's what I thought it was me. Flatten the curve and stop the over uh, the hospitals from being overwhelmed. When did we go from that to now we must stay indoors until we have a cure? And the language has changed a lot, which I predicted at the start of the situation, by the way. I said, governments will change. The governments will change their stance on this. It will not be just a flatten the curve. It's going to be used as a way to force people indoors until, and they will keep progressively moving the goalposts. I said that. I love it when I'm right. But anyway. Guys, I, look, as for this, I the left like to argue private business, private choice. You know, my body, my choice. My business, my choice. Well, guess what? His business, his choice. 
He wants to put up a sign that says that he's well entitled to his rights. Right? If YouTube can censor my content left, you can't do you know what about this. Because guess what? He's business, he's choice. You know? So, yeah, how do you like them apples? To be honest, I, I, look, I don't care. I don't really care what a business writes on his wall. I don't care what a business puts on his door, whether I agree with it or not. If someone wants to stop me from entering their business because I'm not wearing a mask, I'll go somewhere else. If someone wants to stop someone entering the business from not wearing a mask, if, uh, because they are wearing a mask, then they can go somewhere else. But he's not even doing that in this instance. He's just simply saying, you idiots, stop wearing a mask. The government is making you, like, panic for no apparent reason. Which I would agree with anyway. So I don't really have a problem with this either way. Let me know what your thoughts are in your comment in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next Demonetized video, video 3 of 6. We are hitting these out of the park because I want to play some games tonight and have some fun. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next Demonetized video from YouTube. Ciao!